one of those famous distance equals rate times time problems. So we have to understand the equation that distance is equal to rate times time and we're going to use that in order to fill in a chart to organize the information from the problem. So let's first read the problem. Two skaters start at the same point and travel in opposite directions. One skater travels four miles an hour slower than the other and if the two skaters are 132 miles apart after three hours, what is the rate of each skater? Okay, so we have two rates here. We have a skater one, skater one, we have a skater two, and then we have what I always refer to as the total. In case we need to know the total, we'll use the total. It won't always be useful in all the columns, but maybe. We'll find out. And I'm going to change my colors here. I'm going to make this one blue and this one green just for organizational effect. Okay, so first, rate. What is the rate of the first skater? Well, it says that one skater travels four miles per hour slower than the other one. So you, we actually don't know the rates of the skaters. But we could call one of them X, because we don't know what it is, and we know that the other one is four miles per hour slower than that one. So I'd call that one x minus 4. One of them is x, one of them is x minus 4. Now in green, how long are they traveling for? Well, it says that the two skaters are 132 miles apart after three hours. So both of these skaters are traveling for a total of three hours. Now, thanks to the chart, we have a rate and we have a time, and we know that rate times time equals distance. So we can fill in that third column with x times 3, that's 3x three going here, and then on the second row we have x minus 4 times 3, so I'll just call that 3 times x minus 4. Now the nice thing about the chart is when we filled in the chart we were filling in information from the problem, then we used multiplication to get across, and now in this orange slot in the bottom right hand corner we can represent it in two different ways. Way number one is that the total distance these two skaters are apart since they're traveling in opposite directions is 3x for the first skater, that's how far he or she traveled. The other skater traveled 3 times x minus 4, so that's how much distance they covered. So their total distance must be 3x plus 3 times x minus 4. But on the other hand, the problem says that the two skaters must have been 132 miles apart after those three hours. So on the other hand, we also know that the two, the distances together have to be 132. And now we're in algebra land. 3x plus, let's see, some distributive property here. 3x minus 12 is equal to 132. Let's collect like terms. 6x minus 12 equals 132. Let's add 12 to both sides of the equation to yield 6x equals 144. And then we'll divide by 6 so that we can get x equals, let's see, 72 divided by 2 is at 24. 144 divided by 6. Yes, it is, 24. x equals 24. Final answer? Well, almost, almost. x equals 24, so that means the first skater must be traveling at 24 miles an hour, and the second skater was traveling at x minus 4. 24 minus 4 is, of course, 20, so the other skater must be traveling at 20 miles an hour. Okay, so let's see if you can understand this enough to try one on your own come to this problem here about superheroes. So pause the video and see if you can fill in this rate times time equals distance problem on your own. And assuming you pause the video and tried it out on your own, let's see if we can do it together. So we have this superhero and they are traveling, let's see, they travel 2,094 kilometers against the wind and they travel 2,454 kilometers with the wind. Ooh, this one's sneaky. This has different pieces in it. So, the first thing I can read is the hours. The three hours seems like the most direct piece of information. So I'll put a three there, and then it does say with the wind in the same amount of time, so I'll put a three there also. 
So the amount of time is three. Okay, what else am I gonna have to do? So it looks like I'm gonna have to go with the superhero, sometimes going against the wind, against wind, and then I'm gonna have the superhero with wind, and just as a default, I'm going to put a total here. Again, I don't know if I'm going to use that total, but I'm going to keep it just in case I need it. Okay. Oh, oh, I get it. So on this one, we have a distance, right? It says the superhero, when they're going against the wind, traveled 2,094. And when they were traveling with the wind, they were traveling 2,454. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so what's their rate? Well, I guess we'll have to do the rate in two different ways this time, right? We have the rate when they're going against the wind, and that would be interpreted as superhero minus wind, because the wind would be pushing back against them. And then we would have the superhero flying with the wind. With the wind would be superhero plus the wind. Okay, let's see if we can work these together now. So in this case, I didn't have just one slot being filled in, but I can still set up my equations as distance equals rate times time and multiplying through. So in the first, the top row indicates that 3 times S minus W should be equal to 2094. And the second equation indicates that 3 times S plus W must be equal to 2,454. Okay, let's take the top equation and divide by 3. This would imply, once the 3's cancel, that S minus W would be equal to 2,094 divided by 3, which is 698, and on the bottom equation also has a 3, so we'll divide it by 3 on both sides. 3's cancel on the left. S plus W is equal to 2,454 divided by 3, which is 818, 818. Now the two equations are set up nicely with a minus W and a plus W. So I'll add those two equations together. S plus S is 2S. The W's cancel out because one is positive, one is negative. 698 plus 818 is 1516. So now simply dividing by 2 is going to yield the superhero's rate of speed. The superhero is 1516 divided by 2, which means that they're traveling at 758 kilometers per hour. Excellent, that's a fast superhero doesn't complete the problem quite, that's the superhero speed, remember that's what we use for S, we also need to figure out what the wind speed is. So in order to do that, I'm just going to substitute the S into either equation, let's go with the second, S plus W equals 818, we did the work to figure out that S equals 758, so 758 plus W equals 818. Subtract 758 from both sides of the equation, cancels the number, and leaves us with the wind speed. 818 minus 758, I believe that is 60. I just want to make sure here so I don't have as many errors as I usually do. And it looks like the wind is 60. So hopefully when you did it on your own, you got those same answers.